today we are going to go over or learn a subtraction method and it is called the Singapore method. Um, this method is very useful if you don't like to uh, borrow or carry over from the borrowing. So if you don't like to um, borrow over if a number is too small to be like subtracted, then this is the method for you. Um, I try to use the exact same examples as my other two videos about subtraction, but one of the examples doesn't work, so I had to change the numbers a little bit, but I hope it's around the same numbers, just a minor tweak. So the first example that we are going to do is 360 minus 156. Now, this method works really good when it's in the one spot is when you have to come over and borrow. Um, so I would recommend doing this method when this is your trouble spot. So when you're subtracting here, zero or six is greater than zero, so you would have to come over and borrow. But in this method, we're going to subtract six from both numbers, creating 354 and 150. Now we're going to take those two numbers and now subtract them. So we're going to do 354 minus 150, giving you 204. So this, we're just taking, we're trying to, we're eliminating the borrowing. That's why we are subtracting the six. So um, example two. This is the example where I had to change the numbers a bit. So on my other two videos, uh, the example problem is 420 minus 158. But on this ex um, example, it's 420 minus 118. Oh, okay. It's 420 minus 118. I did this because I realized when I was doing 420 minus 158, um, the struggle area isn't in the ones place, it's actually in the tens place. So it makes it a lot more difficult and a lot harder. And I find that the Singapore method is the most easiest when the trouble spot is in the hun or the ones place. So zero or eight is greater than zeros. And we don't wanna borrow here. So we're gonna subtract eight from both numbers giving us 412 and 110. Now we're gonna take these two numbers and subtract them. Two minus zero is two, one minus one is one, and four minus one is three. So your answer would be 302. So, um, actually I did mess up the third example, so we do also have to change that one as well, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so the original example three problem for all the same, for all the examples have been 590 minus 398, but I changed it to 590 minus 388. It was previous 398. So all we got to do right now to solve this problem with the Singapore subtraction method is put it in standard notation. Um, and since eight is greater than zero here, we're gonna subtract eight from both, giving us 582 and 380. Now we're gonna subtract these two numbers. Um, two minus zero is two, eight minus eight is zero, and five minus three is two, giving you 202. So I'm sorry that the other 
two examples in this video weren't the exact same as the other two, but that is the Singapore method. Um, all you have to remember is to use this method, make sure the problem area is in the tens place value and not anywhere else. It is easiest to do it when you don't want to borrow in the tens spot. You can do this method by doing, uh, by taking away from the tens spot if that is one problem area and then go over and carry or borrow if there's another problem area. But I would only recommend doing this method when your problem area is in the tens spot like it is in the other examples or like right here. So that is the Singapore subtraction method.